Hi, everyone. We're back here at CBS 3 for our 11th annual Alex Scott. I stand for Hope Telethon. The number that we'd like you to call and make a donation today is 1-844-977-CBS3. And we've got Mike, John, and Trin back there. We need their phones to ring. So all the phones in front of them have to get all the way back there. So please give us a call, 1-844-977-CBS3. And today we are joining Alex Scott's family and her friends in continuing her dream, her hope that one day there would be no more childhood cancer. And as Yuki Washington explained, for families dealing with the disease, hope is really an important part of their reality. Take a look. Nothing like a pizza party to help digest the feeling of hope. Hope is the one thing that you should never let go of. Exactly the message Greg Hedler, a 13-year licensed clinical social worker at CHOP, is sharing with families of children diagnosed with high-risk neuroblastoma. The idea of hope has been implanted in me from the very beginning. I can say that alongside of that, the fuller, richer picture of the experience that families navigate are not only those difficult points, but also those really incredible moments that they also share together because cancer brings families together. At the same time that it's really difficult, it pulls the family closer. Families like the Salernos. Tony needs a kidney transplant. His mom, like so many other parents, is counting on funding and research. I want to work towards finding more cures and less toxic therapies because I just feel like it, it breaks my heart to see other children go through this. You know, there's kids that are literally cured today because of some of the research that we've been able to fund. And yet, hope comes in a variety of forms and experiences with parents of ill children at times saying, I, I hope this isn't true. I hope that this is, this is not the path that's ahead for us. And they sit and they, and they wait during that diagnosis period. And then when the reality comes that they are diagnosed with cancer, the hope evolves into, I hope the treatment course goes as smoothly and as quickly as possible. Unfortunately, there are those times that patients are not able to obtain cure. Therefore, the hope changes again, and the hope then comes in the form of clinical trials and, and how can we hope for the, the longest possible lifespan for my child. Just give it to God, because he will see you through. Hope means like, you have like faith that like, the good will come out from the bad. The Stand for Hope Telethon is creating a lot of good, a lot of memories of Alex. And the hope she had for herself to grow up. And when that wasn't going to happen, the hope she had to make sure that other kids had that chance. You know, hope is such an important thing. And, and especially when you look at some of the statistics, the leading cause of death for children under the age of 15 is cancer. I mean, you can't help but be touched by these stories. I mean, they just pull at your heartstrings. And, and also, you know, pediatric cancer is consistently underfunded. That's why it's really important for this foundation to do the work that it does. And that's why it's really important for you to pick up the phone and make a contribution today. 1-844-977-CBS3. I'll repeat that. 1-844-977-CBS3. <laughs> Three. And I think we're going to go to Misha because Misha has an interview. Hey, Misha. And of course, as we know, the beautiful <laughs> stories just keep coming and pouring in. And of course, we're standing next to you repeatedly all day today. Some wonderful people with very big hearts and a reason for why they are here in support of such a great cause. So I'm sitting next to Temple basketball coach Fran Dunphy and St. Joe's basketball coach Phil Martelli. And you guys, you support this every single year. And we were just talking a little bit. Of, I'll start over here. We were just talking about why this is so special to you and you said something that really struck me you said every time you see that picture of Alex can you talk about this event a little bit absolutely the pictures tell a thousand stories absolutely yeah. and then we were there that first day it was raining like crazy at the Scott household and we were out front with umbrellas and uh, and then Alex appeared and her strength and toughness and courageousness just kind of touches all of us. Yeah, it sure does. It absolutely goes straight to the heart. And you were, we were also talking, and you said something very important, too, that you've been there from the beginning. Yeah, we have been there since the very first time, and I've made it a point to make sure that I get to the, the lemonade stand every Saturday in June when they, when they take place. And the memory of that hero, not that little girl, but that hero came out. She had a goal, and, you know, people out there have bucket lists, and, and uh, she, she achieved her bucket list, but we have to do more. There are people sitting here answering phones and they're not doing anything. So get on your phone, get on it, make a call, and help Alex reach her goal of crushing childhood cancer. 
spoken like true coaches indeed. Do you have any final words for anyone at home right now that's considering calling this phone line? Well, not only to call today, but get there on Saturday yes. too. It's a wonderful event and the energy just like it is here today is spectacular. It is, absolutely. All right, Jim, I'm gonna send it over to you. This is so remarkable. There, sometimes you just can't even find the words for it. That certainly is the case. Thank you so much, Misha. And joining us now is Andy Summers and Frank from the morning show at 92.5 X to you. Thanks for being here, guys. Yeah, it's, really, yeah. it's great to have you with us. So, Frank, why do you think this is so important? Well, it's more than a telethon. I think at this point it's an institution to raise money. I mean, it's just such a fantastic cause. Uh, have you had any experience with anybody, a, a child who has had cancer? Well, I'm aware of Alex's Lemonade and how much money it's, has, it's made and how much it has provided for the children of the area. Yeah, now, it really has done a great Andy, job. Andy, you and I are always after a deal, and this is a good deal. <laughs> You're here to tell us about an incentive. Yeah, absolutely. So we're looking for a $100 donation, and I've got a ticket to see Sam Hunt and Marin Morris at the BB&T Pavilion. Frank has another one. We're going to put them together, okay. okay, because we want you to go with a friend. Okay. So a if pair someone of doesn't have a friend, they can invite me because you know I love my country I music. I know. I know you do. I know you do. And I know you love you some Sam Hunt because yes, we all do. I'm telling you, I'm on the treadmill working out to this. Thank you both for being here and supporting Thank this you. Yeah, and thanks for the contribution for this. We know that this is going to bring in a lot of money. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Great Make to your have phone you call now. This. The number is 1-844-977-CBS3. We'll be right back after this break.